In this video, we'll go over all the WoW news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. The weekly event for this week is the Dungeon Event. Complete four Mythic Plus Dungeons, or just Mythic Dungeons, I guess, for an item level 213 piece of gear. The Dark Moon Fair is in town this week. Remember, 10% rep buff, 10% experience, also some dailies in order to increase your professions. The Mythic Plus affixes are fortified, inspiring, storming, and prideful. There will be a holiday starting this weekend, the Lunar Festival. Although I totally forget what Lunar Festival is all about, there's probably going to be a Hearthstone toy or some other cosmetics. And now into some other WoW-related news. The new weekly cap for this week's Renown is 30, which unlocks the final Soulbind traits for Palagos, Merilith, Nia, and Nagia. I'm sure I said all of their names super correctly. The Adventure Table got a balance pass, with Kirin and Venther getting a whole bunch of buffs to their troops, and Nightfae getting a nerf to their Trapper minions, which allowed them to completely cheese all of their missions, leaving a lot of Nightfae players with champions who are too low level to do any of the missions they're offered. Torghast received a change, progression is now account wide, so you can immediately do the highest level of Torghast on your alt without having to unlock it. Blizzard added a new store mount called the Lucky Yoon with a 6 month subscription. Dungeons received a balance tuning, they reduced the amount of health bosses get with Tyrannical to 30% from 40%, as well as reduced the damage of a whole bunch of mobs so the tanks will probably not have to kite as often. A lot of low performing specs received a flat damage buff including Frost Death Knights, Beastmaster and Survival Hunters, Frost Mages, and etc etc. Blizzard released a BlizzCon online bundle, which allows WoW players, if you buy the highest tier, to receive a mount, a pet, and 30 days of game time. You do not need to buy this bundle in order to watch the online BlizzCon, as Blizzard said that viewing it will be free. This is just an extra you can buy if you want the rewards. And now onto the weather report with DevBot the WeatherBot. How's the weather out there? Declassified FBI documents indicate that Nikola Tesla was actually from the planet Venus. Good one, DevBot. I'm sure that's nice to hear. And now for some information about the earliest version of the game. There has been a long-held mystery involving the Deep Ram Tram. You see, the tram runs north to south, with the two connecting cities actually being east and west of each other. And there's a whole underwater zone that you can see while riding the tram. Now, this has perplexed people for many years, and some speculations were that the tram was originally meant to connect Darnassus to Stormwind, which is why there's an underwater section, and why it runs more north rather than west or east. And it's also speculated that it was meant to go from Ironfort to Darnassus, and wasn't going to connect Stormwind at all. It would also better explain the sea. Although, during an interview with one of the designers of Vanilla WoW, we finally got an explanation that kind of explains some of these theories about the Deep Ran Tram. It turns out, the reason there's an underwater sea between Stormwind and Ironforge is because they wanted players to have something to look at, and they thought it was cool. And they were acutely aware that it didn't make sense in lore, but they thought it was very boring to have nothing change the scenery while waiting for the long train ride. Now, as to the direction of the tram, they didn't comment on that since it wasn't asked during the interview, but suffice to say, they probably thought it just looks cooler this way. Or maybe the game just turns you around and it doesn't really matter. And since the developer specifically said they knew it didn't make sense to have the C, and yet added it anyway, it does kind of explain the mystery at least. Alright, and with that, I'll see you all next week.